Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. You know, I I did um I deleted some of the videos that I've done with this story because one of the people in the comment sessions did I misinform the story. Okay, so I'm going to start this you know over again to let you guys know the situation with this white girl in Connecticut who was responsible of defacing Nipsey Hussle's uh, mural. Now, police. And this is what disturbs me about this case. Police now claims they permit a white girl to deface Nipsey Hussle's mural in Connecticut. Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article. It says, Uncouth and thirsty white girl flag flagrantly defaced a mural of Nipsey Hussle in Connecticut, all while FaceTiming her actions and tauntingly sticking out her tongue. Some may view her behavior as moral, repugnant, and blatant race baiting. However, according to the local police department, the act is permissible. There is none. Off, I mean, there's none. Authorities will do to stop it. Let me. I'm gonna stop you right there. You know, we we always doing culture and spray painting graffiti, which of course is against the law. And obviously now they say it's okay to you know deface a person's memorial, defacing uh, Nipsey Hussle's mural, and the police say that's fine, that's okay with it. I'm gonna keep continue reading this. It says as a crowd of irate Nipsey fans watch, the girl taunted the onlookers as she deliberately and maliciously vandalized the mural painting of the late legendary rapper, businessman, and philanthropist who was killed on March 31st, 2019. According to Hot New Hip Hop, the female identified as Caitlyn Renee, also known as KK, then hop online to let her distractors know she is not afraid of their threats. Y'all really mad, she wrote. I'm about I'm about argue with none of y'all over some painting. You know how much dope ass in Heaven Park getting painted over? Oh, all right. Then hop off. Y'all about to kill me over a painting. That S is hilarious. Um, now, this is a Twitter from John Harris. Um, and I'm going to... You're not going to see the video, ladies and gentlemen, because reaction will not let you see the video, but you will hear the audio of this story. So... This is KK claiming that police has a, a, allowed her to do this, spray paint over Nipsey Hussle's mural. Here it is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Now, we're hearing stories, and like I said, yesterday when I posted this video about the same story, that, I mean, one commenter said I had misinformed people about you don't know what really happened and blah, blah, blah. Now, I've been watching some videos, and I'm doing a lot of more research now, that the woman who was, I mean, the people saying that, you know, when she put SK on the mural that matches the the girl who basically said something 
on her back of her shirt. Now she was on Facebook, you know, saying that I don't know this girl. I was just trying to expose the girl. I would not put my hands on this girl. And she was saying it on Facebook. Now, you know, really that, I mean, obviously that I'm whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to even get into that because I don't want people to say, well, you misinformed uh, again, Lions Den. I don't want to hear none of that. So I, instead, I'm going to move forward with the article. It says that the Hartford Police Department stated that the team was, w get this, the team was within her legal rights to paint whatever she wants to, even if others do not like it. But yet, you know, in the past, when you have gang members, you know, spray paint graffiti or, you know, through highways, and it's, it really is like art. Right, it's like art and stuff, and yet they can get arrested for you know, you know, defacing public property. Well, this is really interesting because when she does it, the police said he, she didn't do nothing wrong. So here's what the department says: it says they issue a statement that was obtained by the blast that reads, "Lots of people are calling for action regarding Nipsey Hussle mural being partially sprayed over." Please understand that the Heaven Skate Park has been declared an area welcome to graffiti art. In short, folks are free to paint whatever they like, wherever they like, even if a person paint over something that others view as sacred. Dozens of murals have been altered or sprayed over during the years, the police department added in the statement. Hustle fans were seething. They believe the girl was clout chasing and committed egregious act in order to raise her social media status. She posts herself on Facebook, scrawling over Nipsey Murrow's aggressively taunting her critics afterwards. Now, according to Fox 61 in Connecticut, the mural was originally painted by a local artist named Corey Pan, was quickly repaired by a local rapper and school teacher, Joey Batts. He restored the mural of Neighborhood Nip, as he was called, and covered up any defamation the, the, the refinished product was posted on Fox 61 and Facebook page. And again, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, watch this. And I'm going to, you know, commenting while I'm watching this. Because I know you guys will not see it. Reaction will not show you the video again. But you will hear the audio. But I will commenting on how Nate, uh, how Joey Bass, who, who was a local rapper and school teacher, you know, redid it within the next, it was the last uh, four. 24 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and play this and then I'm going to finish the rest of my commentary. And better than ever. Joey Bats. Yeah. Tell us what happened here. <laughs> First of all, for yeah. people who don't know why Nipsey's here in Hartford, where are we? Uh, we're at Heaven Skate Park. Heaven Skate Park. Um, Heaven Skate Park, you know, the graffiti culture has always been tied closely to the hip hop culture. And uh, my buddy Corey Payne took it upon himself to uh, immortalize. Corey Payne art. Corey Payne art, yeah. And uh, my buddy John Macy took it upon themselves to. Uh, Hustle, and um, the, the mural's been getting a lot of attention, you know. Um, now he got defaced it pretty did, good. It did, yeah, it was defaced uh, yesterday, and um, we got word of it, and a, a couple people got word of it, and I just, I just thought it was best to, um, to fix it as soon as I could, so I woke up this morning and had breakfast and uh, grabbed my paint and came out here. In the rain... By the way, the paint still works. The paint still works. Now, Joey, you were talking about people come out here, they do all sorts of creative graffiti yeah. on top of one another, yeah. but this is different. I think I think this is different. I think when you when not only do you put the time and effort into a mural, but a mural that is uh, here to commemorate someone, someone who did as much for his community as, as Neighborhood Nip did, 
I think you got to treat it a little bit differently, you know. And uh, and there's there's some unwritten rules about graffiti, and there's some some unwritten rules in the hip hop community where we got to make sure that we uh, we protect our protect our culture, you know. We have to, we have to. And you're just about done, right? Yeah, I'm just about done. I want to fix up a couple of these blues inside of this W, and then Go I'll, ahead. I'll be done. Go ahead. Another Hartford legend, Joey Bats. This is beautiful art. I mean, it really is. Yep. Yeah, I heard Corey on Hot 93.7 yeah. maybe an hour and a half ago or yeah. so, and he was talking about it. This is great work here. Now, what are you guys doing over here? What's going on over here? Memorial Wall. A memorial Wall? What are we going to do here? We're painting it all black. Okay. Then, um, we're going to make it. Remember, you, you, like you lost a loved one or someone you lost, you come here and write the name in a white sharpie. That's nice. To remember all the, the loved ones so Here's the memorial wall, too, right next to Nips. A lot of interest here. A lot of interest here. Nipsey is cleaned up. And I guess Slauson Avenue in Crenshaw has been renamed for Nipsey Hustle. So this is the work that's been redone after Corey Payne put the mural up. It was defaced. But our buddy Joey Batts, who the Hartford Public Community knows at the high school, he came over here this morning and decided he was going to work even in the rain, and you're doing a heck of a job. Heck of a job. All right, there we are. It's looking good, guys. Looking good. Now you just need a look. You need a taller ladder. Get him a ladder. Somebody get us a ladder. Get him a ladder. Get off the garbage can. This is what we call compromise. Hey, it's, it's whatever it takes, right? All right, we'll see you guys. Again, the bottom line is Nipsey Hustle is back and better than ever. So they so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, shout out to Joey Bats for for taking his time and redid the Nipsey Hustle um, Hustle Merle. Because it's, it's so much miscommunication going on, like so much a lot of people have their opinions about this and their opinions about that. But at least with this story, he saw the situation. I mean, and really he didn't even have to do that, but he came out and redid it, and you know, within the next 24 hours, you know, he came out, he did it, and the Nipsey Hustle is back again, better than ever. So, tell me what you think about this. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for any news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions End signing off. Deuces.